Welcome to Sirwin's Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa Lecture 07, Financial Statements. Actually, nasa description ng video lecture na ito, yung mismong problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ng lecture na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi, ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening, but actually by you doing the problem solving. Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, Simula na natin. So again, Lecture 07, Financial Statements. The bookkeeper of Russell Ong's Toyland presented the following ledger accounts and their balances as of June 30, 2021, the end of fiscal period. So nandito yung mga general ledger account balances. And then, sa next page, additional data for adjustments and uh, information in order to prepare comprehensive income statement. Na basically, yan na rin yung ginagawa natin mula nung una pa dun sa topic na trial balance hanggang ngayon na nandun na tayo sa financial statements. Na actually, ang discussion na to ay patungkol na sa statement of changes in owner's equity. Kasi natapos na din tayo dun sa naunang lecture patungkol naman dun sa comprehensive income statement. So kung gusto nyo mapanood kung ano yung mga yun, ang mga nangyari, maaari nyong balikan. Okay? So ngayon, itutuloy nga lang natin ang nagawin ang financial statements. Okay? And basically, nandito, okay, given yung ating previous uh, output, yung comprehensive income statement ni Russell Ong Stoyland, at nandito rin yung kanyang worksheet dun sa nauna pang transaction. At ngayon nga, ang gagawin natin ay yung changes in owner's equity. Na basically, dito natin natin isusulat, kasunod na lang dito at wala na naman problema para makita ng mga estudyante na talagang maaaring gamitin ng worksheet as you do problem solving. Actually, pwede, pwede pa nga back to back. Okay, so we start with the heading first. So that is a uh, Russell, okay? Russell owns Toyland. Nagbebenta siya ng laruan, okay? So a statement of changes in owners or equity na lang or owners equity. Okay, para maiba naman. And then we have the period for the year, okay? Pwede rin for the fiscal year. Okay? Ended June 30, 2021 Hindi pa laging December 31 Ano po? Okay, in order to do that We start with the beginning capital balance So therefore, we have to write Ong capital Ong capital Okay? Beginning Okay? Magkano kaya yung kanyang beginning capital? Na basically nakikita yun ay sa worksheet Ayan So tingnan po natin at dahil siya ay isang ano uh, real account, ang capital account, na dito sa statement of financial position. So, okay. So, sa column ng capital, nasa na siya? So, nandito po yun. Okay. 1,067,850. Na basically, ito yung balancing figure nung sa problem natin. At ngayon, ay dinahanap na nga po natin na yun yung kanyang amount. Again, 1,067,850. And then afterwards, we have to add the additional investments. Na I believe when we try to go back with the problem, wala kang mababasang information addition, sa additional investment. So basically, walang additional investment kasi wala namang ibinigay. Okay? Pero other than that, may isa pang ina-add. Okay? Dito sa statement of changes in owner's equity. And that is the net income. Okay? Na basically, sa problem ibinigay na that the net income after tax is this one. Nasolve na po siya. Okay? Doon sa naunang Lecture. Therefore, we have to add the net income. Kung doon sa topic na service business, walang tax, dito meron. Okay? At mas tama talaga na meron. So, therefore, we have to add this one after tax na siya. Okay? So, amounting to 89,619.36. By the way, kung sakaling service business, maaari naman talagang may tax din sila. Hindi lang natin nga pinakita doon kasi unti-unti natin, unti-unti lang ang pagpapaliwanag ng accounting kumbaga. Okay, so yan na po yan. So, therefore, we have to get the, the total. Okay? So, 1,067,850, yung kanyang beginning capital, we have to add the 89,619 Point thirty six yun na ang profit after tax, okay? So therefore the total capital would be one million one hundred fifty seven thousand four hundred sixty nine point thirty six, okay? And then we have to deduct kung sa kaling merong withdrawal, okay? So malamang meron naman yung owners withdrawal or just drawings, wala naman problema, okay? Namakikita din natin dito sa ating 
uh, worksheet kasi nga nandun naman lahat ng information na kailangan natin. I believe pag brinouse natin siya makakakita tayo dito ng own withdrawal amounting to 30,000. So therefore ilagay natin dito 30,000 but basically hindi siya naka-add but rather that is a deduction to get the own capital. Own capital not the beginning but rather the ending capital. Okay? So again, 1,157,469.36 minus the withdrawal of 30,000. So we will get 1,127,469.36 and that will be the capital ending that will be presented in the statement of financial position in the next discussion. Pero sa ngayon, sapat na po na natutunan muli natin kung paano gumawa ng statement of changes in owner's equity. So yun lamang at maraming salamat.